Hello and welcome to Offspring Magazine, the podcast. I'm your host, Srinath Ramkumar. I know you've missed me. I haven't done a lot of podcasting this year because I was busy with the PhD. I had to finish it. And now, for this season, Bia did a fantastic job doing a lot of episodes and doing a lot of fantastic interviews. And we're going to do a wrap-up of that. And Bia's going to take it over and discuss with you about who the new members are and what their plans for the next year and the upcoming season of the podcast is. So without any further ado, I will hand it over to Bea. Now I'm here with um, Julie, which was a host of the previous season, and I'm here with two new group members that will be uh, participating in the podcast in the upcoming season. So we will introduce them later on. First, I wanted to talk to Julie about season three. Julie, how do you feel like um, it went? How was your episode? Because I think you released one episode this season, right? Yeah, yeah, I released one episode, and I'm really glad that I did, like, that I finally got started. Like, it was a very spur of the moment kind of thing that I decided to do on like a short notice. Um, so everything was a bit hectic, but in the end, I'm super happy that I just, you know, finally got it out and finally did my very first episode and, you know, got the feeling for it. And already from this one recording, I learned so much on how I can improve my future recordings. <laughs> um, so in the end, I think it went really well. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy that I finally joined the team. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think one of the hardest parts about a podcast is actually getting started because it is a lot harder than people think, um, especially the planning process, getting someone to agree to do a podcast and the whole editing. So now that you've passed the barrier, you've overcome it. I'm looking forward to hearing a lot more. And you're our physics expert. We finally have someone doing podcasts on physics. Yay. So what do you what do you have planned for the upcoming season? Yeah, so I'm going to record a series of podcasts that all are centered around black holes. I actually already recorded one episode and I'm planning on recording a bunch more, maybe three or four more, covering black holes from different angles let's say so from different observational points of views or theoretical points of views and what we can learn from all the ways that astrophysics is looking at black holes that's awesome i really don't know that much about black holes apart from like the knowledge that netflix has brought to me through a few netflix documentaries i think black holes is like a huge huge topic now a lot of people are getting interested in it so I think that's going to be really good. Are you also planning to do any podcasts not physics related? Um, or I astrophysics, I should say, right? Yeah, I haven't, like this black hole thing has been most prominent on my mind. So I have not thought about um, what else, not too much about what else I could do. One thing is still in the line, which is based on this um, book review that I want to do. And I want to try to um, interview some authors, but it's also astronomy related. Although combined with, uh, you know, especially women in astronomy and the uh, yeah obstacles they have to overcome in their careers. So it's going to be a bit about, uh, yeah, gender equality. In, especially in astronomy. Yeah, that all sounds really interesting. Looking forward to it. And I guess it's important also to tell our listeners that if they do have like a specific topic request or something they're interested in in the field of astrophysics, then they should definitely reach out to us and particularly you so that maybe then you can do an episode also related to something that they're interested in. Yes. Um, yeah. Great. So that's it for um, our previous hosts, apart from me. But I mean, everyone's heard my voice enough this season. So I'll talk at the end what I plan for season four. But let's move on to our new members. So that's Jaswant and Marcel. Um, Jaswant, do you want to start by introducing yourself? 
Uh, yes. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Jashwant. I'm a second year PhD student at the Max Planck Institute of Radio Astronomy. Uh, this year, I'm hoping to bring in my expertise in like sound editing and uh, like uh, yeah, like sound editing and processing, like mixing and mastering the audio and hoping to bring a better quality of sound for the podcast. But yes, I also have some experience in uh, like music making and then, yeah, I have some, I have my own uh, like mini music project. So that's how I know and have learned how to edit audios and um, yeah, like pro, uh, like edit vocals and in, in different aspects just to make it fit between the sounds and et cetera, et cetera. That, yeah. Uh, I that's don't know what super else exciting. Say. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm really happy that we finally have someone to help us improve our sound quality. Um, because in the past, we've all kind of tried to edit our episodes, but no one's really had a lot of experience. So it's great that you're joining. And also, like we discussed, everyone should stay tuned to our Instagram because we will be trying to post more videos, like short clips of our episodes um, with the help of Jaswant. So Jaswant, I'm assuming this is the only episode that you'll actually be <laughs> a, a guest or a host for, right? Yes, most likely. Yes. Uh, I don't think I will have time to record any, uh, like podcasts or be in, be in one of these, but I'm happy to just like work in the background, just try to bring in the better quality of sound, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Great. That's really exciting. Um, so yeah, and then Marcel, please now feel free to introduce yourself. Tell us what you have planned. Yeah. Hey, I'm Marcel. I'm a PhD candidate at the Max Planck Institute for Brain Research in Frankfurt. And I'm also in my second year. And so first of all, I'm a big fan of the podcast. And in general, I love podcasts. I'm, yeah, I especially love science podcasts. So I'm super excited to join. And my interests in general revolve around neuroscience, molecular biology, biophysics, mathematical modeling. And I thought now that everyone knows what mRNAs are <laughs> because of the um, yeah. COVID vaccine, I would start a series on RNA-related research because that's also my area of expertise and I think super interesting. So I'll, I'm planning to do... Um, a series covering really a wide range of RNA related topics from single cell RNA sequencing. So that's where we use mRNAs, um, for instance, to get information about cellular identity all over to like different types of RNAs, like uh, ribosomal RNAs, tRNAs, things that most people, I guess, don't know that much about. But actually in the cell, most of the RNAs are not mRNAs. So there's a lot to uncover there. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. And I'll also try to talk a bit about the people behind the science, like the hurdles they might have had to overcome to get to where they are right now. And yeah, in general, how they navigated science and academia in general. Two very important topics, I guess, for the RNA. Are you planning to do an episode on mRNA vaccines, specifically the COVID vaccine? Yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. So I still have to contact the people. But um, for instance, in my lab, so I'm in the lab of um, Professor Dr. Aaron Schumann, we had people in the past that now work at BioNTech. So I'm hoping to get some of those people uh, to join. And yeah, so... I think this will be one of the first topics, but then I also want to move on from mRNAs and also talk a bit about other interesting types of RNAs, what they do, how they are involved in gene regulation and so on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. So I think it will be nice to also put RNA into perspective of like why it's important that we do learn about it. And you are right. Like it definitely is a field that not very many people know if they're not specifically in the field. I think you learn a bit about RNA in like biology class, but it stops around there unless you actually specialize in yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. I think there's so much untapped potential and most people always focus on proteins because like already in school you learn those are the actual machines that do stuff in cells. But yeah, by now, we also know that RNAs do a lot of stuff 
as do carbohydrates, <laughs> as we learned in the past season. So I think it will be exactly, exactly <laughs> to uncover that. Not, not to make any advertisement, but he is referring to our uh, one of our most recent episodes on carbohydrate-based vaccines. So I guess that was the first episode we did on uh, vaccines. And now in season four, we'll have even more. And then Marcel, so um, tell me a bit more also about like the second part of the podcast that you were interested in doing some more about, um, you know, the, the struggles that scientists go to uh, go through would that be specifically for phd students or anyone tell me tell me a bit more yeah really generally so i plan to interview people from all different stages so i guess mainly senior phds postdocs and pis and at each and every step of course you have some struggles to overcome i think already um, we as PhD students have experienced, yeah, things that weren't that easy, we had to overcome. And um, I think it's super important to talk about these things to also make people aware that you're not alone with that. But then on the other hand, I think it's also interesting to talk about how like more established people, so PIs, um, overcame their hurdles and came to where they are right now. Because when you like, read CVs, that's not what you usually hear a lot about because that's not what they write in their CVs, of course. And um, yeah, I think it's just good to have a few examples. And some of the people I have on my list, they are also very engaged in trying to improve the conditions in science, for instance, for women in science. And those are things that I also want to touch on. Very nice. Um, just because I, I do think that the team that we have right now is mainly interested in science-based topics, like Julie a lot with her astrophysics. I mainly do science-based topics as well. So it's nice also to expand on topics that are related to science um, and are very important. And, yeah. Um, so I, I'm really happy that you're also going down that route. So yeah, and in terms of me, I'm actually going to go like a bit in my out of my comfort zone because I'm I have some episodes planned that I want to do on uh, quantum computers and AI and algorithms and machine learning. So um, I thought that in a day and age where Instagram has such a powerful algorithm that basically knows us better than we know ourselves. I thought it would be interesting to know more about the way algorithms work and also the ethics behind computing. So I definitely have a few episodes planned there. And for the rest, we shall see. I would say that everyone should stay tuned. Um, our season four will probably start around end of February, beginning of March time. Um, we will release the exact date later on. Um, so if you're interested, then just make sure you follow us on our Twitter and our Instagram pages and also on LinkedIn. Those would be the three most active pages that we have where we will post all our information. And in the past, we've also done some polls where we've asked the listeners what kind of topics they're interested in hearing about. And that was fairly successful. So we'll probably do one of those again um, in the upcoming month or two, where we are always happy to hear what our listeners actually want us to want us to record on. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, yeah, so I guess this was a short uh, goodbye season three and looking forward to season four. And again, please contact us if you have any questions or you have any topics that you want us to cover. Um, yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and you look forward to season four like I am as well. We have some exciting stuff coming up. Anyway, with that, uh, let, I'll say bye-bye as well and see you all next year. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Offspring Magazine, the podcast is brought to you by the Max Frank PhD and Science Communication Working Group of the Offspring Magazine. The intro outro music is composed by Shantan Kumar and the pre intro jingle is composed by Gustavo Carrizo. If you'd like to give us any feedback, comments, or suggestions, please write to us on Twitter at MPPHDN Podcast. Until next week, or until next year, rather. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye.